Welcome back to Road to 56 as Ireland. So last time round, the Belgian People's Republic is at war with us because France declared war on them. And I'm honestly expecting the Germans to declare war on them as well because they're communist, not communist. So there's also naval landings going on in Italy. And we're building up our armor core. Passes for it, really. Second Light Tank Brigade. I'm going to rename them after they've developed. At the moment, it's just motorized shock troops, which are something that this mod adds. Light tanks, forge artillery, engineers. We're going to be using them to help assault once we get onto the mainland. And as usual, we're still doing all this anti-submarine stuff. Ooh, that's a very nice... ...results. There. What did we have there? Let an E. Plus Gronje. Gronje doing a little bit of damage to the Stralsunds. Which is, um... Z-27, so an enemy destroyer and a light cruiser. And that's probably about all, all our contribution there, but it helps. So our surface fleet took a massive knock last time around. But we're rebuilding it. So I'm basically saving my political power up to get, I think, secular institutions for the extra research speed. That's not worth, worth to me now, this personality cult, because it'll decrease the democracy's peace force. Don't want that. So this might not be bad either, because supply consumption, that's always a good one to reduce. Add. And I'm going to build a couple of ways up here very quickly. You know, so I think that should be the priority. It'll, it'll help with the, pu the push into Fez and Casablanca. So that looks like it's going alright. So basically we are on the verge of having... Uh, North Africa completely in our grasp. I uh, good. I suppose I'll go with this. I can leave that for l until later. The rest of this. Equipment effort might not be bad just for the extra XP and research bonuses that I can use later. Of course, it won't be any use for this. I don't know if that is a defeat or not. That was a defeat because we lost something. This is a victory because they lost something. We didn't. As usual, submarines do most of the work. It's kind of how it is as a small nation in this game. One thing we're really doing is just providing supplies, extra air cover, radar cover around here. To support play style more than anything else. Ah. There it is. That's a big surprise. Actually, put this extra this extra factory I'm building is going to go in here to the small arms because we're going to need to change them up very quickly. 
upgrade things a lot. Now, to hmm, what do I go with? This is no, this is really useful to me at the moment. I might just go with this now because eventually it'll get down to this for extra subsection and organization, but it's not the most pressing thing. Advanced camouflage pattern. Sure, this is something else that the mod adds, but I saw the do it. So, two British destroyers for one convoy and three Vichy French destroyers. Honestly, I think we were kind of out not, outweighed there, so it's not a bad trade. Casablanca has fallen, so that means the supplies are going to be coming in here very quickly. Could do some radio propaganda for some extra war support, but don't really need it at the moment. There's nothing here I really need or want. These have been these have been upgraded slightly. Better radar, better anti-air. Probably look at getting better torpedoes at for them as well, because that's what really helps against capital ships. Plus, <laughs> long term thing. Somehow we managed to liberate some um, Yanks managed to liberate Yanks and Brits managed to liberate Norway, but now the Germans are pushing back up there because we cannot be having them and being free from us. That's a bit of a surprise there. Right. Can I get motorized recon because it has the same speed, it also buffs them because it provides snipers for them. And possibly field hospital so they have the extra HP and they get back sooner and they recover quicker. The claw back some of that manpower because we do not have a loss. I think I will go with this secular institutions one because supply consumption, we're not going to have too much of a problem with that. We just don't have to consume a lot of supply to begin with. Research speed is good. Neither of these um, ideologies are really an issue for me. More shock troops, always good. Okay, I'll leave that for now and maybe go on to support 42 because that'll help. Three. Might as well update this while I'm at it. Actually, no, I'm gonna get this because once I get the and a myo two level size six or whatever. I can actually apply. I can actually apply a policy to it. Probably go with vertical integration because it means they'll cost less to put out. That's always good. Let's see. 
Yeah, for research speed it is. It does consume 0.05 political power a day, but that's not much. Okay, that's a defeat. Yeah, what's a submarine going to do against enemy submarines? Shake up the colony tower and shake their angry fists at them. Do you know there was a one instance where during during World War II where a submarine took out another submarine while they were both submerged, but I can't remember the details now. So yeah, we didn't really have much impact on the North African front. I just put somebody here around Milano. Just to pop out here. That's going to be done in a bit. There we go, was by trains. Sure. Go with this actually just to make sure we catch enemy operators a bit more bump up our counterintelligence because the extra factories are currently being all done on infrastructure and railways which isn't that doesn't take that long anyway do I have? AC4. Mm -hmm. I sell a few more. I think I can sell off all of these. Not much use to me now. Somebody might want them. So, the reason why I went with this um, flamethrower is to buff up our buff our um, engineers. And I'm gonna bump up the field hospital because yeah, again it'll but it'll increase the size of Forge Cork. Use this lot as well. Hmm. Now that is a nice victory. Boot curb stop completely one sided in our favor. That's the sort of victory I like to see. Yeah, I know. Into the Mark 1. Increase their breakthrough, which might also help with our. Um, Those shock troops, because they're motorized. Yuba wants to buy some of our close air supports. Really wants to buy some. You now, I kind of wonder if we would have been able to create our own airplane or motor industry in Ireland. Probably not. So the Japanese are making are making it. Going here, and what we actually took down the bureau. What's that? Remember now. If I remember correct, that was a cruiser. Oh no, a destroyer. I don't play World of Warships. I should, but. There's also a problem over here where, yeah, this is a problem. We're having problems getting supplies in here. I think I'm going to try building a couple of these here.
base game. For some reason, um, naval bases are far quicker to build than supply hubs. You can see the building cost for a supply hub is nearly 20,000. Whereas for this, it's 3,000. Meaning there is really no point in building supply hubs unless you absolutely have to. But they're also used to try and get supplies through. So what I'm doing here is building as many of these as I can to try and get supplies through so that they can start pushing back. I'm just going to turn off all the allies' divisions for now. I think it's a bit of a resource hog. Right, the German Reich will continue decrypting. Infantry equipment and support equipment. I don't think the actual value of the infantry equipment really matters, like whether it's this top of the range stuff or the pre World War I stuff you can get at the very start of the game. I mean, it's basically just going to be some basic, uh, basic guns and stuff like that. Excellent. Is that the... Nope. Uh, I can't remember. And might as well get all the... Fill, finish, finish this section here. I know the special forces might not be so useful to me now, but... I'm not sure how much the problem here is is supply or just the terrain, because it's all mountain, marsh, a lot of jungle as well. Not very good terrain to fight in. Be too interested in victories, just want to see if we have any defeats and where. Oh, took back the channels, the channel islands. And of course, they're trying to land in Cherbourg. Not sure that's a really good idea, but whatever. And might as well do this because it's quick. Now, at this point. I am considering replacing these heavy bomb locks with rocket rails because they don't they don't weigh a lot. They do a very good. They're very they they basically offer a lot of um, bang for our buck with the for close air support. And then maybe add um, light torpedo mountings as well get for naval strikes. Let's see what that looks like now. Just locks, rocket rails. Let's see what this is like. So five weight for strike. That's 11 agility. For ground attack. Basically, these are just left empty for ground attack, and these are used for for ground attack and logistic strike. It actually, does add some things. Saved. Agility doesn't really matter too much for naval strike, I think, so it's not that big of a deal. 
It's not really like they're happening, just rocket rails. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna do this. I almost never use them. Why not? It's probably gonna be one of those very quick to upgrade things. Yeah, even with only a single factory, we're still upgrading four a week. Oh, I could update this as well. We get out of that extra speed and less f and we use less fuel. I think that is a good thing to use. Actually, what well, I'm going to select the model. Back to our old Rolls Royce armored cars. <laughs> I know it's, I know it's silly, but hey, let's scale back one of these factories to upgrading the planes because we can get by with the older infantry equipment. I'm gonna update these to the elite. They get the best stuff. They're going to need it. Here is not looking too good because the war on Iraq was just this one tile here. Now it's got all this section here. So there's more railways here that could be used and a few rivers that can be used for supplies. We're short of steel. I need to do something about that. There's steel mill. Well, might as well try developing Ulster a little bit more. I can basically just slot these in whenever because they always are quick. Eh. Yeah. Do a bear superiority. We just. The terrain here is awful to fight in. They're also outnum outnumbered there. You can see that attack and breakthrough are about half of what they should be. Oh, Italians have a civil war. Watch. And there's a lot more landings going on here. Let's see, which is I have no I have no idea if this is gonna buff the rocket rails on the jets planes. So the best way to support any kind of allied naval invasion is to just build as many of these naval bases and railways so that the supplies can get through. Without supplies, we can't fight. These guys take forever to build. Ah, uh, these are all defeats. Convoys and sunk. Boo!
but they sound convoy ass worse. I want to go thing here. So get the guess or Sarah's drains out of the way. We always have supply problems in West Africa. Well, Vichy France or Germans managed to retake Khan, so that's a bit of a no. But there's a port here, so it's not the bit worst thing to worry about. I'll leave that. Do you have any use for that? Maybe I should. Again, France has liberated Paris. That's a good thing. Might be time for us to actually start, start pulling our weight there. Alright, none of these are really useful to me. Might be later, but... I'll just get key point bombing because I don't actually need it. Okay, so... And of all of these, none of these are really useful to me. Mobil mobilization speed might have been handy earlier to try and mobilize the population quicker. Or what's left of it. Non-combat and supply penalties and entrenchments. Hmm. Useless. That's not much use. Hmm. Guess this just for the out of supply penalties and entrenchments. Though it's more of which is the least bad to me. And there. What is their defense? Hmm. 18, 18.5, I believe that. Let's get me extra reliability. Not but not by much. I'm not gonna bother. Once they're deployed, I think what I'm gonna do is er, Hmm. Air guard of Wally. I am going to change them to regular infantry divisions. Because we have the spare manpower. So basically, I'm going to put these off in a new army. Under Hugo McNeil. That once the Fomorian infantry arrive, I will assign them to him. I'll put these onto. gonna take a while but land knight attack wouldn't be bad tank weaponry and nice so we're starting to push back and 
sooner or later I can actually start putting my people my people in the fields. Rather than just sitting back here and doing nothing. That's gonna be a nice change of pace. Timing. So I'm going to stop this episode here and in the next one we are going to start pushing into Germany. See you in the next one then. Bye for now.